talking about it. Now, in all fairness to uh, Secretary Clinton, yes, is that okay? Good. I want you to be very happy. It's very important to me. But in all fairness to Secretary Clinton, when she started talking about this, it was really very recently. She's been doing this for 30 years. And why hasn't she made the agreements better? The NAFTA agreement is defective just because of the tax and many other reasons, but just because of the tax. Let me interrupt just a moment. But Secretary Clinton and others, politicians, should have been doing this for years, not right now because of the fact that we've created a movement. They should have been doing this for years. What's happened to our jobs and our country and our economy generally is, look, we owe $20 trillion. We cannot do it any longer, Lester. Back to the question, though, how do you bring back, specifically bring back jobs? American manufacturers, how do you make them bring the jobs back? Well, the first thing you do is don't let the jobs leave. The companies are leaving. I could name, I mean, there are thousands of them. They're leaving, and they're leaving in bigger numbers than ever. And what you do is you say, fine, you want to go to Mexico or some other country, good luck. We wish you a lot of luck. But if you think you're going to make your air conditioners or your cars or your cookies or whatever you make, and bring them into our country without a tax, you're wrong. And once you say you're going to have to tax them coming in, and our politicians never do this, because they have special interests, and the special interests want those companies to leave, because in many cases, they own the companies. So what I'm saying is we can stop them from leaving. We have to stop them from leaving. And that's a big, big factor. Let me let Secretary Clinton get Well, in there. let's stop for a second and remember where we were eight years ago. We had the worst financial crisis, the Great Recession, the worst since the 1930s. That was in large part because of tax policies that slashed taxes on the wealthy, failed to invest in the middle class, took their eyes off of Wall Street, and created a perfect storm. In fact, Donald was one of the people who rooted for the housing crisis. He said back in 2006, Gee, I, I hope it does collapse, because then I can go in and buy some and make some money. Well, it did collapse. That's called nine, business, by the nine way. Nine million people, <laughs> nine million people lost their jobs, five million people lost their homes, and $13 trillion in family wealth was wiped out. Now, we have come back from that abyss, and it has not been easy. So we're now on the precipice of having a potentially much better economy, but the last thing we need to do is to go back to the policies that failed us in the first place. Independent